as we age, it can get harder to move and do those things that we love doing, but it's never too late to get moving and improve your quality of life. Sponsoring our segment today from Savoy Therapy is physical therapist and owner, Chris Tope. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, absolutely, Heather. Okay, so let's talk about Savoy Therapy. Is your focus geared mainly towards older adults? Right, so we focus exclusively on older adults who are living in their own home or maybe in a senior facility. And how do you help them? Right, so how, what, what happens as we get older is faults are a huge risk, which is what probably the most important factor or the, the big factor that, that stops somebody from living in their own home. Um, after a fall, you broke broken bone, you end up with losing your balance and your strength, which decreases their ability to, to live on their own and doing things what they love to do. So what, how, we do, how we help is uh, we help someone improve the balance um, by providing therapy in their own home, um, also on improving their strength and uh, their confidence. Uh, you know, it is easy to improve the strength and balance, but what happens once you fall once or twice, your confidence takes a big hit. You, you are really afraid of, am I gonna fall now? Is balance something where if you lose it, it's gone forever? No, it is just like anything else. If you lose it, but you can get it back, right? If, if you lose your strength, you can work out and get stronger, regain your strength, and same concept for balance. If you lose your, it is natural part of the aging process, but it is not, uh, you don't lose it forever. You can always work on your balance, just like we work on our strength, our flexibility, our speed. We can also work on our balance and get it back. Let's talk about the benefits of your service of actually going to the client's home. Right. That has to be such an advantage to have that. Ability. Right. So most of our clients, uh, they, have, they are not able to drive because of an injury kind of stuck, oh, I can't get to therapy, so I am just put up with it and, you know, they were living in pain, um, you know, losing their balance and strength because they couldn't get the help that they needed. So that's when I realized, oh, this is a niche that I need to fill. Um, so that's how I got started. Okay. Um, well, so there are some assessments that you do right. to kind of get an idea of, of where they're at right. with their balance. We're going to try a few out here yeah, today. Us. So what's this first one we're going to be the doing? The first one is called uh, five times sit to stand. So what you're going to do is uh, time and see how long it takes for you to do five sit to stand click from a chair. I'm okay. going to have to stand up and down. Is so the goal to go fast? No, no. <laughs> goal to go nice and easy. Like, right? Do I want to beat you? No. <laughs> We can try, right? We can have a little competition. But okay. the goal is to see, get a picture of uh, how strong you are. The simple test gives you a, gives us an indication of how strong you are, how good your balance, and how good your endurance is. Like, okay. you know, do you get uh, short of breath? So those things. So uh, a really simple test. If you want to use your arms, you can use your arms. So I'm going to have you go stand up. Okay. And then nice and tall and back down again. So is that and one? Then that's one. Okay. So up again, up and down. That's number three. No, that's okay. Two. Oh, okay. sure, sure. Yeah, I'll keep the count. So one. All right. Okay. One more. You're you're getting short of breath now, right now. <laughs> I so, hope I'm not getting short of no, breath. No, you're not. You did great. You did great. So. But I can see how some people right. could because that is exerting that is, energy right. that they may not be used to the, doing. Right. So. <laughs> See, what happens typically is we get up once and that's it, you're done, right? Yeah. I mean, so, or we see uh, families, they mean well and they get mom and dad a lift chair. So oh. you push a button, point, the chair brings you up. So we lose the ability to yeah. use our legs and arms. Okay, let's right? do the so, balance test because that's something else oh, we also Very can. good, yeah. Okay, so so, uh, so I'm going to have you stand up. So if you want to hang on to the chair, that's fine. Okay. So the, what, what we're looking for is to see how good you can balance on one leg when you are standing up. Okay. If you need to hang on to the table with both hands, that's fine too. So, okay. so just, and then nice and tall. So the key is in how long you can stand up, but also how well you can hold your posture. Oh. Right? So it's easy to do. Going to do this. I shouldn't have done that. Right? Uh, so we are looking for how long you can stand in terms of number, how many seconds, but also how good your posture and how good you're able to adjust yourself to maintain your posture. Right? And why is that important? Yes. So when why? you're walking, right? When, you, when we walk, we have to pick our feet up. So, and then if you want to step down a curb, go up a step, it all, from walking to climbing, it involves standing on one leg. 
Yes, yeah. it happens for a split second, but if you lose that ability, and that's if you see, if you watch older folks walk, the walking slows down. Does a and they shuffle. talk a little shuffle, right? Short <laughs> steps, you know, become shuffling. And that is the, a, uh, a, a big indicator of fall risk. So if you, if you go see a grandma tomorrow, a grandpa, right? If you watch them slowing down, if they're walking slower, if they are taking sh small, short shuffling steps, there's a reason why they're doing that. They need to get seen by a therapist, by a physical therapist, to get their assessment done, to and see why they, are, why, why they are doing it. So I like to think of walking as your fingerprint. We all walk based on our, it's a reflection of our overall strength, our balance, our coordination, and that is reflected in our, the way we walk. Okay, unfortunately we're out of time, but you're offering a complimentary home assessment to check their balance right. and um, set up an at-home maybe exercise program. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, they just need to contact you? Right, they can call our office at 217-898-8393. Uh, okay, All well, right. I'm, I'm glad I'm not winded, <laughs> but um, and my balance is in check, and we appreciate you coming. Absolutely. But if you want to learn more about Savoy Therapy, there's a look at their website, and we'll be happy to connect you with them over at sayliving.tv, and we sure do thank them for sponsoring our segment today.